Hi, I'm Jenny Craig. Welcome to Level 1 of the Jenny Craig Walking Program, and congratulations for making the decision to exercise with us today. By participating in a regular program of fitness walking, you can dramatically increase your rate of weight loss while on the Jenny Craig Weight Loss Program. Exercise through fitness walking is also a great way to maintain your ideal weight and an exercise you can enjoy for the rest of your life. Whether it's early in the morning or after a busy day, this is your time. A time for you to be good to yourself, and you deserve it. Let's warm up before we start our fitness walk by doing some large muscle movements. Lift your knees up and down and raise your arms overhead a few times. That's right, keep going. You could also warm up by walking at a slow pace or by doing a few deep knee bends. Anything that will increase the blood flow in the muscles of your arms and legs a little before you stretch. Continue warming up, and while you're doing this, take some deep breaths and get ready for the flexibility phase of our warm-up. Let's join Mary for some stretching exercises before she leads us on our fitness walk. Thanks, Jenny. Now that you've got the blood flowing through your muscles, let's do some light stretching for flexibility and injury prevention. You should stretch to the point at which you feel mild tension and hold the stretch for about five to 10 seconds. Don't bounce as you stretch and remember to breathe normally. You should not feel pain while you stretch. If you do, ease off a little. Remember, the saying in exercise is, no pain, all gain. If you prefer, you can follow along using the stretching diagrams outlined for you in your Jenny Craig walking booklet. Let's start with a total body stretch. Raise your arms overhead and push up on your toes, reaching for the sky. Alternate stretching up with your right hand and then your left. Reach right, reach left. Feel the stretch along the side of your body and your waist. Now lower your arms to your side. Gently press your ear toward your right shoulder. Drop your left shoulder down to add a bit more stretch. Good. Let's stretch your neck on the other side. That's it. Drop the right shoulder down. Now bring your head back up. Place both hands on the back of your head and gently press your chin toward your chest. That feels good. Now lift your head. Bring your arms behind you, lacing your fingers together and lift your hands up as high as you can. Stand up straight. Feel the stretch across your chest. Stand with your right foot crossed over your left and twist your upper body toward the right, turning to look behind you. Hold a few seconds. Let's repeat on the other side. Left foot over right and twist your body to the left. It feels great to stretch the lower back, doesn't it? Place your right hand on a support to help you balance. Lift your right foot behind you and grab it with your left hand. Press your foot gently toward your buttocks while pressing your hip forward to feel more stretch along the thigh and hip area. This stretch is for the quadricep muscles along the front of your thigh. Release your foot and lower it to the floor. Let's turn around and stretch your other thigh. Lift your left foot and grab it with your right hand. Press your foot gently toward your buttocks while pressing your hip forward. Hold this stretch, pulling in your stomach and taking some deep breaths. Let's stretch the opposite muscle group the hamstrings along the back of your upper leg. Place your right foot in front of you and your left foot about three to four feet behind you, toes facing forward. Keep your back straight and your front knee slightly bent. Press your abdomen forward toward your leg. Can you feel the stretch along the back of your upper leg? Good. While in this same position, transfer your weight forward by bending your front leg and straightening your back leg. Keep your upper body straight and lean forward. Press your back heel to the floor, feeling the stretch in your calf. 
hold on to a support, or gently place your hands on your front knee for support. It's very important to stretch your calves well before you walk. Let's repeat on the other side. Place your left foot in front of you and your right foot about three to four feet behind you, toes facing forward. Keep your back straight and your front knee slightly bent. Press your abdomen forward toward your leg, feeling the stretch in the hamstring muscles. Flexible hamstrings are especially important in the prevention of chronic low back pain. While in this same position, transfer your weight forward by bending your front leg and straightening your back leg. Place your hands gently on your front knee for support. Keep your body straight and your back heel pressed to the floor. Lean your body forward until you feel the stretch in your calf. For our last warm-up exercise, place your feet about shoulder width apart and place your hands on your hips. Move your right foot slightly forward and tap your front foot up and down to the beat of the music. Come on, lift your toes as high as you can. The shin muscles located in the front of your lower leg are used a lot during fitness walking, so you may feel a little soreness when you first begin a walking program. This exercise will help to strengthen these muscles. Let's switch to the left foot. Lift your toes up as high as you can and tap up and down. Can you feel it working your shin muscles? Good. Are you warmed up and ready to go, Jenny? I sure am. Let's walk. Take deep breaths, filling your lungs with air. Remember, we're going into the aerobic phase of your workout now and that means we'll need lots of oxygen. So keep breathing. When starting a walking program, hills may be too tiring and put too much demand on the cardiovascular system. Walk on level ground until you feel ready for the more challenging hills. Let's quickly review proper fitness walking techniques. Stand tall, shoulders relaxed and held back. Chin up with eyes looking ahead. Lean just slightly forward and tuck your hips under. There, that's it. Feel how this straightens and lengthens your spine. As you walk, swing your arms in opposition to your legs, with your hands rising up about chest high as they swing forward. Relax your arms. Really let them swing. Make your stride leg comfortable and try to keep pace with the music. Reach out with your heels grabbing the ground firmly in front of you and feel your legs pulling you forward. Feel the weight on your foot shift as you roll forward from the heel and push off forward with your toes. It's a heel-toe movement. How are you doing? Does it feel right? If so, chances are your fitness walking techniques are correct. Relax, have fun with it.
You've gone for five minutes now. Breathe deeply as you walk. forward, reaching with the hip. your head high, swing those arms. Come on, breathe. that good posture is essential and is especially important during fitness walking. Feel yourself walking tall. Keep your stomach pulled in and your hips tucked under. health begins with good nutrition. By participating in the Jenny Craig Weight Loss Program, you are taking the right steps toward becoming a healthier person and achieving your goals. Say to yourself, I'm looking great and feeling my best. We 
have now completed 10 minutes and have covered approximately one half to two thirds of a mile. For the level one walker, you're halfway through. If you feel yourself getting short of breath or having trouble keeping up with the pace of the music, slow down a bit. As the walking pace increases, so does your heart rate, and you'll find that you are exercising in the fat burning zone, which is your target heart rate zone. arms at a 90 degree angle at the elbow. Keep them fairly close to your body and swinging front to back, raising your hands to about chest level. The faster your arms swing, the faster your feet will move. Notice how your facial muscles feel. Keep your face relaxed. In fact, you may even feel like smiling. Don't forget to push off with the toes of your back foot and really reach out with the heel of the front foot. Come on now, energy!
We're at the 15 minute mark. Your pace has been quick enough that by now, you should be in your target heart rate zone. As we walk, let's take a quick 10 second heart rate check. Find your pulse at your wrist or neck. When you begin to count, start counting with zero for greater accuracy. Ready and count. doing? Are you within your target heart rate zone? If your pulse is too high, slow your pace down. If your pulse is too low, swing your arms more vigorously and really step out with your legs. We're walking at a pace of 18 minutes per mile, which will give you the aerobic conditioning you need to lose weight and feel great. You're at the peak of your aerobic intensity now. Just think of all the calories you've burned. You're getting more fit with every step. Walk with determination, head held high, chest lifted, and feet marching forward. Taking a brisk walk before meals is a great way to decrease your appetite. Be sure to drink plenty of water to replace what you're losing during exercise. Keep it up. We're almost there. I know you can do it. Congratulations! You've just completed 20 minutes of fitness walking and have walked a little more than one mile. 
If you're a level two walker, fast forward to the end of this tape and flip it over to continue your walk. Try to keep walking while you're changing the tape. If you're a level one walker and are ready to cool down, keep walking as the pace of the music slows. You've gotten a great aerobic workout by getting your heart rate up through fitness walking and keeping it elevated for 20 minutes. Developing flexibility is essential in preventing injury and is a very important part of total fitness. Now that we've brought our heart rate down a little, we're ready to do some cool down stretches with the muscles we've just used. Hold on to a support. Place your right leg out in front and your left leg three to four feet behind you. Keeping your back straight, press your abdomen toward your front leg and feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Hold, breathe deeply. Can you feel the blood flowing through your body? You feel good, don't you? Let's switch legs now. Keeping your back straight, press your abdomen forward. Take some deep breaths as you stretch and hold for a moment. Place your hands against a wall with your feet two to three feet behind you. Lean your body forward and press your heels to the floor. Feel the stretch in your calves. Stand up straight. With your right hand on a support to help you balance, lift your right foot behind you and hold it with your left hand. Press your foot gently toward your buttocks while pressing your hip forward and hold. Feel the stretch along the thigh and hip area? That's it. Release your foot and lower it to the floor. Let's turn around and stretch your left leg. Lift up your left foot and hold it with your right hand. Press your foot gently toward your buttocks while pressing your hip forward. Now is the best time to work on your flexibility. Consult your Jenny Craig walking booklet for ideas on how to do other stretches. You've done so well by completing the first part of your walking program. Right now, you're probably feeling pretty good about yourself, and you should be. Each time you put on your headphones and begin your walk, you're taking another step toward becoming the best that you can be. Be sure to record your exercise when you get home today and set a time for us to exercise together again in a day or two. I knew you could do it. This is side two and we're stepping out. Lift your eyes and look ahead. Put a smile on your face and stride to the tempo of the music. Let your arms swing freely front to back, keeping them bent at a 90 degree angle. Remember to stand tall with your abdomen pulled in and your hips tucked under. Lean just slightly forward from your ankles. Reach out from your hips and grab the ground in front of you with your heels. It's a heel-toe movement. Feel the muscles working as you pull with your front leg and push off with your back leg. How are you doing? Does it feel right? If so, chances are your fitness walking techniques are correct.
remember to take some deep breaths every once in a while and enjoy your walk. If you started your walk at the beginning of level one, you're at the halfway point. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Do you feel the energy? Come on, big strides now, let's go!
feel your walking pace increase with the tempo of this music? Swing your arms to the beat of the music. Your feet will naturally follow the pace of your arms. The most important thing now is to relax. Have fun with your fitness walk. If you started your walk with the beginning of level one, you've been walking about 30 minutes and have walked about a mile and two thirds. Keep it up. Your commitment to fitness walking at least three times per week can decrease your risk of heart attack. While on the Jenny Craig Weight Loss Program, you're eating a delicious variety of foods and managing your weight. What a wonderful reward. Lift your head and look around you. Walk from the hip and lift your body up tall. Swing your arms and really step out.
As we walk, let's take a quick 10 second heart rate check. Find your pulse at your wrist or neck. When you begin to count, start counting with zero for greater accuracy. Ready and count. Stop. How are you doing? Are you within your target heart rate zone? If your pulse is too high, slow your pace down. If your pulse is too low, swing your arms more vigorously and really step out with your legs. Want to know more about walking your way to a slimmer, healthier you? Refer to the Jenny Craig Walker's book, Your Passport to Feeling Great. with your heels. Pull with your front leg and push off with your back leg.
sacrifice good posture for walking speed. Keep your head up, your spine straight, and lean just slightly forward as you walk. We have only five more minutes to go. Just think of all the calories you've burned. Keep it up. You can do it. As you walk, your heart is getting tuned up for maximum performance. What a wonderful gift you're giving yourself. So be bold about it. Walk with enthusiasm by swinging your arms. Open and close your hands and feel your fingers stretching and relaxing. You're almost done now. You're doing a great job. We're moving into the cool down, but don't stop now. Keep moving.
Fantastic. If you've been walking with us from the beginning of Level 1, you've just finished about 50 minutes of a fabulous fitness walk and probably covered between 3 and 4 miles depending on your stride. Don't you feel great about what you've just accomplished? I do. Developing flexibility is essential in preventing injury and is a very important part of total fitness. Now that we've brought our heart rate down a little, we're ready to do some cool down stretches with the muscles we've just used. Hold on to a support. Place your right leg out in front and your left leg three to four feet behind you. Keeping your back straight, press your abdomen toward your front leg and feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Hold. Breathe deeply. Can you feel the blood flowing through your body? You feel good, don't you? Let's switch legs now. Keeping your back straight, press your abdomen forward. Take some deep breaths as you stretch and hold for a moment. Place your hands against a wall with your feet two to three feet behind you. Lean your body forward and press your heels to the floor. Feel the stretch in your calves. Stand up straight. With your right hand on a support to help you balance, lift your right foot behind you and hold it with your left hand. Press your foot gently toward your buttocks while pressing your hip forward and hold. Feel the stretch along the thigh and hip area. That's it. Release your foot and lower it to the floor. Let's stretch the left leg. Lift up your left foot and hold it with your right hand. Press your foot gently toward your buttocks while pressing your hip forward. Now is the best time to work on your flexibility. Consult your Jenny Craig walking booklet for ideas on how to do other stretches. You've been so good to yourself by working this exercise time into your day. You're on the way to becoming the best that you can be. Say to yourself, I feel terrific. Reward yourself with a deep, full breath, a pat on the back, and put a big smile on your face. Be sure to record your exercise when you get home and set a date for exercising together again in a day or two. See, I knew you could do it.